project for Bat is, is my, uh, my project for Bat is, is storytelling, and the story is called The Wish. Once upon a time, there lived three siblings named Daryl, Tom, and Cassie. Darren, Tom, and Cassie always goes to school, and they're also A-plus students. But today is different. After school, uh, Daryl, Tom, and Cassie went home sadly. Three of them is really angry, and their mom asked, what happened? I thought you really loved school. Cassie said, I got bullied. And then Tom said, the teacher is mad at me. And then um, Daryl said, someone stole my lunch. Mom said, you, you have to stand up for yourself. Don't just whine like a little baby. Well, all of them feel very sad. And after hearing their mom's comment, they feel unhappy. So instead of listening to their mom's um, advice, they ran to the woods to play together. Cassie says, forget about what mom says and everything that just happened to us in school. Let's just chill out and play in the woods, okay? Okay, Tom said. Daryl just chill because he's the oldest one and he does it. When they arrive in the woods, Cassie asks two of his uh, two of her older brothers to play hide and seek and then they said sure why not and then Daryl hide behind the bushes uh, and Cassie has to count Tom hid behind a, a big tree Cassie found two of them really fast Daryl said ha you're very good at hide, uh, hide and seek don't aren't you Cassie I am really good I am a pro and then they started to feel better and better of the situation from school. Cassie, um, Cassie said to Daryl, uh, Big brother, do you know that myth? What myth? Daryl said. The myth that if there's three people in the woods alone, there's, go there, there's going to be appearing a wishing pumpkin. What is a wishing pumpkin? Tom said sarcastically. Cassie said, I hear this myth from my friend. She said the wishing pumpkin is a pumpkin that grants us anything we like, any wish that we even wanted. Really? There's a wishing pumpkin? Well, I wish that's true. It's just a myth, Cassie said. Daryl, Daryl is really tired about this conversation and decided to run away from those really annoying brothers and sisters. When when he ran away, he stumbled between two rocks and see the wishing pumpkin. Daryl screamed, Cassie, Tom, come here. I found the wishing pumpkin. Both of them are really happy, but they also have this feeling that Daryl is lying. But when they arrived there, both of them has mouth dangling open. Oh my God, it's the wishing pumpkin. Whoa, it looks really myth mythical, said Cassie. So three of them, insisted to make a wish in the wishing pumpkin. Cassie said, I wish there, there was no more bullies. And then Tom and Daryl said, no, no wish for that, Cassie. Let's wish for something better. What is it, big brother? Let's wish for everyone in town to disappear because we hate them. Yeah, they're monsters. Let's wish that. So they wish for all the town uh, town villagers are all gone and disappeared. The next day, they went to school and there was nobody there. The teacher wasn't there, the janitor wasn't there, even the students wasn't there. Cassie asked to their brothers, Brother, is it Sunday or Saturday today? I don't remember the day. Maybe uh, we have day off from school. I don't know. It's Monday. We're supposed to go to school right now. Ah, I'm very suspicious, Cassie. But you know what? Maybe it's just a day off. Let's just go home, Daryl said. Three of them run, stumbled, um, run, and <laughs> running fast and uh, right to the front door. Open it up with the key and screamed. Oh my God! Where's Mom? I can't find her everywhere. Yeah, where is she? You know, every time we go to school, she uh, she just works in her computer all day, right? Oh yeah, her computer room. 
They search and search in the computer room, but they can't even find their mom. They're really scared. Until Tom said, You guys, remember last time I, we both, I mean, we, uh, three of us wished for everyone in the village to disappear? That's right, that's true. Uh, you know what, M maybe, uh, maybe the wish did come true. Oh no! They run to the woods and find the pumpkin still there watching them creepy. And then they said, uh, Tom said, maybe we should break the pumpkin. Maybe if we break the pumpkin, the curse will be all gone. Hmm, that's, that's true. Let's break the pumpkin. They break the pumpkin immediately. When they run back to the city, instead of of instead of their villagers there are monsters everywhere which is the ivy the wolf and then uh, the wolf zombies and all the the bad monsters were there and then they decided to just hide in the woods for a while because cassie is really scared of monsters so they go deeper in the woods and see this giant mansion they see uh, the giant mansion. Cassie screamed and panicked because she hates giant mansions and creepy stuff. But Tom and Daryl insisted for them to just stay there for the night. When they open the door in the mansion, they're shocked to see all the villagers in there. They said, what are they doing here? Look, our mom is also there. Look at that. Mom looks like she's soulless. Hmm, let's check all the villagers too. They, they checked all the villagers and all of them look they have uh, blank eyes, soulless and just standing there like a statue. They're really scared. Uh, but Tom and Daryl said, you need to be brave. Let's go Cassie, let's save the town. They ran back to the town and see all those monsters. And then um, they, they don't really have a plan what to do or like, um, how to defeat the monsters, but they know one thing. They have one thing that they know. Monsters loves bananas. Ba 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 na na. Ba 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 na na. Oh. Ba 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 na na. Okay, back to the story. Oh my God, bananas! Look at this. We can use this for weapons. Okay, let's do this. Daryl help. Uh, Daryl. Daryl quickly realized that there was a dumpster right next to the supermarket. So he thought, hmm, maybe I could lure all the monsters inside the dumpster and close it immediately. Kathy said, Wow, that's a good idea, big brother. Let's do it. Daryl immediately grabbed three of the bananas and uh, and screamed really loud and said. Hey monsters, look at this, bananas. Don't you love bananas? Here, come and get it. And then all the monsters ran to a, a ran and tried to catch the bananas and him too. A zombie screamed, bananas, we want bananas. The, uh, the wolf said, I love meat, but I love bananas more. I need bananas. The witch says, ha, bananas, I need this for my my potion and they all of the monster hurried and uh, hurried and ran really fast just to catch the bananas and also Daryl. so yeah Daryl immediately went inside the dumpster and said you want bananas right here come and get it and the monster went right inside the dumpster of course Daryl ran really fast jump out of the dumpster and closed the, uh, closed the dumpster thingy shut like really shut and then Cassie and Tom said yay big brother you did it you did it okay this will keep them staying here just for like a few minutes okay um they figure out that the bananas are also useful they can use the bananas to make potions so they make potions with bananas cool water some other supplies and make a really beautiful pink potion. Once they arrived in the woods, they saw a ghost. The ghost says, "You can't stop me. You can't stop all of my, all my monsters' friends. You can't stop me!" Wahahaha! 
Cassie said, hmm, um, I think we can. The monster said, no you can't, you little kid. Stop trying to be denied. And then Cassie said, maybe I could try to stop this ghost with this potion we just made for some reason. She just poured the giant potion thingy right in the ghost head. Ghost screamed, no, oh, the banana potion. Help me, I'm dying, blah, blah, blah. After the ghost died, I mean, he already died. He's already a, a soul, so. Uh, they put him inside a tiny container and then said, hmm, we should save this ghost and just throw the container away. Hmm, that's true. Tom said, hmm, I don't think we should put a ghost soul in our container, you know. Those containers are for good sandwiches. <laughs> Hmm, that's true. We're not supposed to put this uh, a ghost soul in my container, Cassie said. Oh, uh oh well. Ha! Daryl said. The pumpkin is still there. Wait a second. Didn't we break it? I don't know. I I thought we break it, but anyway, it's still there. Cassie said. Maybe maybe uh the, the pumpkin is still mad at us because the villagers are still inside that scary mansion and and the monster are still in the dumpster. This doesn't work. Daryl uh Daryl said maybe we should trade the soul uh, uh with the uh, breaking the curse. That's right. Let's do that. They ran to the pumpkin and said, "Wishing pumpkin, we're sorry about our wish. We don't really want this to happen. We're just really mad about." It. Uh, about the the villagers and all of our teachers and bullies, please forgive us. As exchange, you can have our soul of the boss bo boss ghost. They know that the pumpkin can't really talk, but the pumpkin suddenly, but they heard a loud voice which came out of the pumpkin, and and it says, "It's okay, I forgive you, but please just give me that." so it's really dangerous for you kids to keep it as he said hooray we did it and they just gave the soul to the pumpkin and then the pumpkin disappeared immediately and then three uh, of those siblings feel really happy for saving the town they run back to the town and then see all all the villagers back to normal those monsters also disappear they, they weren't even inside the dumpster anymore. And they immediately, three of them immediately sing Dora, we did it. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Moral of the story is... What's the moral of the story? What's the moral of this story? Uh, this this story doesn't have moral, and this story doesn't have a moral or logic. It's just about pumpkins and bananas. Bye bye. I figure out what the moral of the story is. The moral of the story is never wish for something from the wishing pumpkin. Bye. Uh, that that wasn't the real moral. I am so sorry. Uh, so right now, Shuki. Yuki is going to tell the real moral. Everyone, the moral of this story is please do not wish for anything negative. Just wish for Legos or anything. Wish for kids stuff. Don't no wish for people to disappear. Bye bye.